Wondering what to do with the tight end position? Well, if you don't feel like using an early pick on Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews, or Darren Waller, we're here with a few sleeper and breakout picks that you might be able to get later in your drafts. Here with his top five, Michael Fabiano. Fabs, let's count him down. And let's start off with Austin Hooper. You know, he was the tight end six in 2019, so he's been there before. And now in Tennessee, you can make an argument that he could be the second or third option in the passing game for Ryan Tannehill. I get it. They run the ball a ton. Derrick Henry's a beast. But Hooper could end up being more profitable from a fantasy perspective than maybe we're projecting right now in the preseason. At number four, you've got another tight end. And that's Irv Smith Jr. Now I get it, last year he was hurt with the knee and uh, he injured his thumb in camp, but he's supposed to be back for week one. And Minnesota's offense is going to be very pass heavy. And this is a guy who has shown in the past that when he gets an opportunity, he can be a very good pass catcher in this league. Draft him late, he's probably gonna go off the board in the double digit rounds, especially because he's injured right now. But again, he's expected to be back for week one and he certainly has upside. Number three, you have a tight end that got a good contract in the offseason in a system that tends to favor the tight ends. That's right, and that's David Njoku, who could also be uh, second or third in terms of the targets there in Cleveland uh, behind Amari Cooper, right? This is a guy who really has flashed in the past. He, he's just been in a tight end committee of sorts, right? But Austin Hooper is no longer there. He's the true number one. You mentioned he got paid in the offseason. Uh, so David Njoku, depending on who his quarterback is, which of course we don't know about that just yet, could end up being a top 12 or 15 tight end in fantasy. And when you're looking for late round tight ends, I'm always targeting players that get a lot of targets, potentially the second target on their team or else a lot of end zone opportunity. This guy is gonna get one of those at least, right? And that's Cole Komet. And the Bears wide receiver core beyond Darnell Mooney, I mean, it's, it's really no great shakes. And Komet actually had 93 targets last year. He just didn't have any touchdowns. That was the big problem. And now there's no Jimmy Graham, which means the red zone target should be there. Justin Fields likes to throw the ball to his tight ends. So Cole Komet, who you can get in the double digit rounds, he could end up being a potential number one tight end. Maybe not a top five guy, but a top 10, top 12 player at the position. Uh, and of course that position is very thin. Komet's got all the opportunity in the world this year, Jen, to be a fantasy star. I completely agree on Komet. You know, we have the second most targets on the team behind Darnell Mooney, but he had a better catch rate. And I can only expect positive touchdown regression. Like what, he's really not gonna have a single touchdown this year? No way, I'm definitely drafting Cole Komet. And finally, your number one tight end to expect a breakout from. I'm gonna go with Pat Fryer. And now he was very good last year. He was the, the tight end 12, which means he was a borderline number one option. So I don't know that he's a sleeper so much, but I think he could break out. Now, how will the absence of Ben Roethlisberger affect him? We're going to find that out. But Mitch Trubisky likes to throw the ball to his tight ends. And even though the reports have not been great in camp to this point, I think Brian is still going to be a guy that he utilizes as a security blanket and certainly near the red zone. Uh, so Pat Fryermuth, who some people would call baby Gronk when he came out of Penn State, I don't know if he's going to be Gronkowski-esque, but he'll still be pretty good. And if you like to wait on tight ends, he will likely be there in round 10 or 11. Uh, so Pat Fryer with somebody to have on your radar in drafts. I definitely like that call because even if it isn't Trubisky, even if it is Kenny Pickett, I mean, rookie quarterbacks, they throw to their tight end. So I think it's a great call. For all of our sleepers, busts, breakouts, and more, be sure to visit us at si.com slash fantasy. But before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we're going to be bringing you tons of great fantasy football content throughout the season.